Welcome to our tour and walkthrough of the brand new Rapido 40. This vessel's called Adamas. She was located in Phuket when we went aboard. She's got a fine entry forward, which quickly flares up above the waterline and in turn creates a very nice voluminous interior. Rapido are offering two different ways to fold this trimaran. One's a farrier type where they floats fold in against the main hull. This gives you an overall beam folded of 5.6 metres. And the other option is the new canting type where the floats stay vertical and it reduces the beam to 5.2 metres. The boat has an overall quite sleek appearance with reverse bows on the floats. She has a full carbon wing mast rotating, spreaderless which has a maximum height above the water of just over 63 feet or 19.3 meters. This vessel had two solar panels at 330 watts each, supplying 660 watts of solar. The floats are divided into three watertight compartments, all accessible. The middle section is accessed through the Lumar hatch and is large and voluminous. The forward and aft sections are located through these round, sealed ports. The Kevlar upper and lowers are supplied by Smart Rigging in the Netherlands. You see this is the section where there's another watertight bulkhead. Both boards are seaboards, asymmetrical, to create lift when the boat's pressed and pushing hard. The decks are large and wide and walking upon the float up to the bow is very easy. There's multiple pad eyes around the boat for docking and fixing lines. And you can see here on the port side, three portholes, which are all opening. So there's great ventilation. There's also the escape hatch in the bathroom and head area. So you get great ventilation throughout the interior of the boat and the forward cabin. The foredeck is large and spacious and creates a nice area to work on. It's also convex, the water runs off. Access to the foredeck is easy up the side decks and all the decks on the boat have a really good quality non-skid. Rapido are using high quality deck hardware around the boat and everywhere you look it's either Harken, Carver or Antel. The sprit again has great access and cleaning the chain or accessing the anchor is really easy. There's a large hatch that allows you to access the anchor locker. The anchor locker is deep and self-draining, which is a great addition. There's also a lot of fall from the winch to the bottom of the locker, which means that there'll be no flaking of the chain as the anchor comes up. There's two clutches located just to the starboard side of the forestay. Those are for the tack lines. One's for the tack that goes out to the end of the sprit, and then the other one is for a tack that is mounted just after the forestay or after the uh, anchor locker hatch there. You can see the pad eye, and that's for a staysail or storm jib. You've got the two buttons there that operate the anchor windlass. And Rapido are using these really nice Antel Fairly cleats. You can see they rotate upwards, which allows them to be used as a cleat, or you can rotate them down so no lines get caught, or you can use them as a Fairly. Now walking aft on the foredeck here, you can see that it is really large. I'm not sure that the video does it justice because I'm using a wide angle lens here. You can see the rotating masts there. You've got the two opening hatches on top of the uh, saloon roof, which give a lot of ventilation to the interior. Another great feature, which I sort of haven't mentioned, is the self-tacking jib. The boat's got a self-tacking jib, which makes it really easy to uh, sail solo. You can see a little bit of black marking here on the uh, starboard sea foil, and that's just from some heavy diesel oil that uh, they passed through as they were coming up the Malacca Straits. This boat's only just recently pulled into Phuket, uh, fresh from delivery from the yard in Vietnam. Okay, now 
now coming into the cockpit, you can see it's a large U-shaped seating area. You've got the hatch there, which is uh, entry into the aft cabin where there's a double bed. You've got a really wide transom, great for pulling the tender up, getting the shopping on board. Uh, the rudder lifts up and you've got the swim ladder off to the port side there. Stepping down into the cockpit, all winches are easily accessed. You've got the winch, pocket, uh, winch handle holders there. You've got the engine control to port, anchor winch. You've got a bow thruster on this boat. Then you've got the buttons for the primary there. On the starboard side, same thing. Uh, but you've got the concealed sheets and halyards coming through there. You've got the furling line for the jib. And then you've got the self-tacking jib sheet and the mainsail halyard. All the uh, halyards and sheets are at close hand and makes uh, the cockpit a really great working space. Moving up now to the bench seat, uh, extending the tiller extension. Sitting down here, you've got great vision, 360 degrees all around the boat. All the BNG electronics are really nice. You've got really good uh, plotter radar here, which folds out. The screen comes out, the perspex screen or hatch removed, so the ventilation inside's increased. Stepping down inside, you've got the nav station to starboard with all your electronics, and then a small crawl through for the double bed cabin at the back. Under the steps, you've also got storage here. You've got a watch berth or a small seating area. Got off to port here, you've got the large saloon seating area with the carbon table. This boat's fully carbon and you can see it. There's a lot of carbon used throughout. They've worked really hard to keep these vessels as light as possible. Okay, looking at the galley area now, so you can see here the galley bench tops all carbon. Underneath the bench top, we've got a fridge drawer and then over to port underneath the uh, settee we've got a freezer drawer. Underneath the floor, a large hatch, which gives you access to the engine room and off to port to the same compartment. You've got another smaller hatch, which gives you access to the water pumps and so on. You've got watertight bulkheads at both end of this space, which creates a watertight compartment. Lots of storage throughout the vessel and you can see the attention to detail here. They've, uh, all the drawers are made out of carbon, so they've really gone to lengths, great lengths, to try and make this boat as light as possible. Small hatch behind the mast for ventilation, and then two large Lumar hatches in the uh, deck head there above the galley and saloon area. We've got a hanging locker, more storage to starboard for the forward cabin. Over to port here, we've got the head or bathroom area with the escape hatch. Also, aft in the aft cabin, there's another escape hatch. Great for ventilation here, because you can leave it open while at anchor or just a jar to allow a little bit of uh, air to come through. But if a wave comes past, you don't have to worry about flooding the head. You've got the uh, plenty of deck head height here. I'm 6'3 and we were, was able to stand up easily. You've got the macerator electric toilet, carbon bench top again, and a large shower area. Coming into the forward cabin now, you can see off to starboard, three opening port lights, and then off to port, there's another two. So great ventilation in here with the uh, Lumar hatch included. In the deck head here, they're using something called Whisper Wall, which is a fabric that's stretched into a track system, and it's often used in theatres for its acoustic properties. There's plenty of storage and bent space in this cabin underneath the bed and also to port and off to starboard here underneath the bench tops. Lots of storage. Overall, we found the Rapido 40 to be uh, a very voluminous boat, huge amounts of space. You can see this is a double cabin here. I only had one hand to operate the phone, so I didn't go in. The mattress was a little wet as well because the boys had just delivered the boat, which I'm sure you can tell by the, uh, the salt and the dirt everywhere. The boat's a little bit untidy, but they just sailed her uh, all the way from Vietnam. So she'd done a few miles. Pater and I would uh, just like to congratulate Paul and the team on Rapido and at the same time we'd like to thank them for allowing us to make this video and to climb all over the uh, new Rapido 40.